All right, dudes and dudettes, today we are going to be focusing on industrial foregoing and getting all the plastics. All right, dudes. So we are going to be, like I said, getting the plastics going. Last episode, we kind of set up a little bit of a process to do this. Um, but if we're being honest, it's not very efficient. We do need to make another multi-servo press. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start with that because we're going to be compressing down leaves into latex um, because that seems to be the best way to do that. Uh, so let's see here. There's our multi servo press. We'll get rid of these guys. We'll be focusing on this. So not too, not too crazy. Just some constant tan. <laughs> and let's see, what are we missing? Uh, I do believe we have some iron, so we can go ahead and get those plates made up. I believe one of you guys said that we are able to make a plate press for the multi servo press. So we are going to be looking into that. So at thermal. Let's have a look here. Do we have the ability? Um, let's see. Whoops. I just opened up a setting somehow. Okay. Die. Um, packing die. I wonder. If we were to go uses. What does iron do? Oh, it just... Oh, oh! We don't need a die, it just straight up turns into a plate. Well, shoot, that's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Yep, okay. So, I do believe I have a upgrade thing. What are they called again from it? I, uh, it's called an integral component. Yeah, so we can speed up this process a little bit. Bam, more power, baby. Look at that, we already got four. I don't want to use all of our iron because we might need it for something else, but we're going to use a lot of it. Um, so there we go. So we'll have a second multi-servo press. Very cool. Oh, and then we need a block of iron. I'm glad that I saved all the iron. See? See? Helpful. Helpful. Okay. So now we have a secondary one. We're going to put it here for now, and then we're going to get a hop. Well, we can just get a transport cable. This guy here. And a drawer. This one's got nothing in it. And then we can just put a bunch of leaves in here, I believe, right? If we go like this. Whoop, that's not the right tool. This is the right tool. Okay. Was it leaves? Shoot, I've already forgotten. It's only been like a, a day since I've played this. It's vines. Okay. So there will need to be a little bit of auto crafting involved. Um, hmm, how do we set that? We can, we can set that up, but I'm thinking we're going to need some more storage for that. Okay. So we got a bit of vines. Should be able to press it up. No problemo. Yeah, we can even get an augment or a, what is it, whatever it's called. A component. We'll get one of these guys in here. Speed things up. Okay. Oh, now we're really moving. Okay, we already got a bucket. We need a way to get it into a tank. I wonder, can we just export straight up the side into it? We're going to find out. Um... No, we're going to need a pipe for that, which is okay. That's okay. We can just get a, a pipe going from it into it, right? That, that totally made sense, by the way. Don't let my... All right, so that's filled up. Okay, so now we're filling up with latex. Um, this thing is moving pretty quick. Do we have any alloys available still? We do. Check it out. So we should be able to upgrade this to a much faster tier. Yeah, look at that. We're already maxing it out. Perfect. All right, so this isn't the problem anymore. We'll need to go ahead and get the reinforced component here, um, which requires the signal. I believe we made a bit of that. We did. Ooh, let's see if we can make the uh, this guy. Oops, not that, not that guy, this guy. I didn't hit the right button. So we need to make one more of these because that's part of it. 
All right. We need the gears. Oh, frick. We got to compress them. Good thing this is done. We'll do that. We're going to make a couple of these because I do want to upgrade a few machines to them. Okay. So that should be good. Oops. Oh, my gosh. Everything's all over the place. Okay. So this is done. Let's see how fast we can get this going now. Whoo, that's a moving boy. And then we're also probably going to need to upgrade that tank to hold more, which we can do. So we'll make one more of these. And then we'll want to make a, one of these. Actually, we'll want to make two of them. And then, ah, we're going to need a lot more of those. Okay, so this holds 28 buckets rather than the 14, so we doubled our space, which is good. But check it out. We've already... That'll fill in. Look at that. This is a lot. A lot of latex just from some vines. I think this is the way to go because there is a way to do it. Auto, like You don't have to put anything in, but we do have a way to automate this. So like we have a few crafters that we can use. Uh, so this is how we're going to be making the latex. Uh, now the fractioning still is what we need to get. Uh, ooh, actually, we needed that. I didn't realize it. But let's grab a pipe. We're going to do this really janky. For now, until we get a dedicated space for it. Um, so we can just straight up run it in like this. And then we'll put the accepting side uh, hither. So that it will pull out. There we go. It's going in. It's very slow. So this guy is in desperate need of an upgrade, which we can do. All right, one of these guys, and then this guy. So we can upgrade this guy pretty good. All right, it, it's moving. I mean, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's moving. And then where is this, is this guy? This is what we want. Sorry, induction smelter, you're going to have to... Oh, there goes the redstone. Oh, well. All right. Prioralizer. We're going to have the input set to below. And then we want this one to export out the top. Yes. Um, bottom. Oh, auto output. Enabled. There we go. Okay. That was weird. Why wouldn't that be uh, like already good to go? I don't know. Does this still work? No. Okay. So this is technically automatic. It's running from the vines that are already done because, oh my. We're going to need to set up a pretty automatic way for this because this isn't going to be a good long term. Okay, so we'll get a bunch more vines. Oof, these are, we're going to go through these quick. But I do like that we have the upgraded cable. That's always nice. I do wish it would have expanded over to this one a little bit, though, because we did waste one of those guys on that. But no worries. We have, we have renewable resources at this point. Cool. So this is fairly set up. I mean, the only... Hello, Squid. The only other thing we could do is put it into an auto crafter, but we don't really want to do that at this point, uh, which is okay by me. Now, the reason we're doing this is because last episode we were messing with the pedestals and some inferium seeds. So we can go ahead and we're going to look up a planter. Yes, plant sower and a plant gatherer. These two are going to be our best friends. So we need to make some tools, which is perfectly okay. And then we're going to run into something that I just remembered. The Pity Machine Frame. It's actually it's a little bit easier than I thought it would be. We just need two more sheets of plastic, which we're almost there. Ah! Actually, I think we have it all. So dry rubber. Yes. So we made six of those. Perfect. That's enough, I believe, for this whole machine. 
All right, so plant gatherer. Bam, there we go, plant gatherer. What does our quest say? Oh shoot, it wants us to collect one of those, huh? All right, we can put it back now. Good. And then, why? Rubber, oh, netherrack. We didn't complete this one yet. Forgot, we kind of skipped through this. Like, we're, we're already past this. Um, but we've kind of messed up. We need to make the witch water again. Yeah, oof, that's an oof. Oof moment, I wish it would just say that we, like, remember that we did. Okay, um, back to industrial foregoing. Prioralizer, hmm, like, we've already gotten... We already did this. This illusion chamber. Like, we've already done all of that. Frick. All right, we've hit the limit here. Pipe is filling up. We're getting back up here. Cool. We got more. All right. So let's go on to the next logical thing. Got the plant gatherer. Let's look at the plant sower. What do we need? We need another pity, pitiful generator. Ooh, we are out of electrum plates. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. All right, we got the electron plates that we needed. Let's go ahead and make another one of these. And do we have enough here? I believe that makes it good. Actually, probably won't. It's only two. But, yeah, we should be good there. Yes, we don't have enough. We need two more. Let's make a flower pot because we're cool. Now we're just waiting for a couple more. Ooh, we're out of the, the that die or that rubber. Okay, so while we wait for that to, to process up, I think we're going to make some of these flux linkage amplifiers. Uh, we just need some more electrum plates, redstone flux coil, which we have, but we don't have the lead gears. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing now, because we do have quite a bit of lead on hand. So we can just take this after, well, let's, let's wait for this to process up real quick. Cool thing is it's, it goes by really fast, so we don't have to worry too much about it. There we go. All right, put the gear back in, put the lead in, and then we'll let that process. So cool, we got a bunch of Electrum gears, and then in here, are we getting more iron? We sure are. Now, we're gonna find a way to automate this here really soon. My good buddy, Psychotic Butcher, has actually just found a way to automate the process of making overworld matter. So if you are if you wanna go check that out, I highly recommend checking out his YouTube channel, link down below, and I'll actually link the video um, down below so you can go check out what he did. He's a great guy. Tell him Turtle sent you, because I'm a derp. Okay, so we can make this now that we have it. Perfect, so plant sower, plant gatherer, that is exactly what we needed to start farming our system. So cool, okay. So I think it's important that we make another windmill as well. Um, yeah. Uh, we do need to make a little bit more of those. How much iron do we have left? We don't have any iron left. Oh, fun. And our iron hasn't been getting processed. Oh, fun. Okay, so, oh, I needed that iron. We just need two of them. We're gonna infuse some redstone into it. Oh, shoot. So the iron goes in. Oh, that's gonna be weird. It's processing too. Well, we only actually needed one, so we can make the windmill now. Yes, sir. Oh, we need one. <laughs> I lied. We need one more. Okay. We'll just put that in there. Look at that. 720 no scope, baby. <laughs> That's two spins, that's crazy. Okay, so we have the extra alloy. Let's go ahead and make our windmill. Now this is gonna power our farm. The cool thing is that we shouldn't need more than like one windmill. Um, 
because the farm won't like these machines won't be running all the time they'll just be running every once in a while so let's go get these guys set up because we're going to need to make the dissolution chamber to make the upgrades in order to harvest the entire area so yeah as you can see all of this is grown here which is really cool honestly all right plant gatherer and this is the working area is this guy so this is the only guy going to get harvested for a bit um, which is kind of funny and uh, kind of not at the same time. So we could just run a cable like that. Uh, we also need to get the plant sower, I believe. Does it, does it work here? Ah, okay. So it needs to be this block. We need to, we need to find a way to do that. This guy, too. Oh, boy. We're going to hurt. Ouch. Ouch. Don't grapple. Okay. We got the air. And then I believe... Should be able to just do this. Let's show the working area. Yep. Perfect. So we're not going to be harvesting... Or not going to be planting anything... Which is okay for now. Um, so, how do we want to do this? I don't want to do that, actually. Because we're going to need to pull the items out with the transport cables and pump them into the bottom. I've got an idea. We're going to need to make a few more drawers, which is okay. Um, but we're also going to need... Uh, actually, yeah, we just need one drawer. So, Inferium and Seeds will go into here. We're going to need the key to lock them. All right, I'm going to grab the Quantity key as well. And then we're going to need some Inferium Essence and the Inferium Seeds to kind of get this started. Okay. All right, so I don't know if we're actually able to... Um, I don't know if we're if we're able to instantly put in items like out the back can we configure oh that did work we got a seed in there so whatever we did so if we just push out on all sides we should be good okay so let's go ahead Drawer key, we're going to lock these in. Then we're going to hit them with the quantity key, so we'll be able to see how many are in there. And then we can go like this. All right, so we're going to need quite a bit of the transport cables. I forgot to grab those while I was down. Oh, by the way, this was for that thumbnail last episode. I ended up dying trying to get that thumbnail for you guys. Just so you know how committed I am for you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to grab the transport cables. Oh, yes, we have plenty. So we're going to need to run transport and power. Now, we should need more than this basic cable up there. Uh, so I'm not going to worry too much about the transfer speed of that. Uh, but now, should just be able to pull out like this. Whoops. That's an extra cable. Okay. Oh, frick. I left it in wrench mode. That's a cable. Okay. So, items. Alright, so seeds are going in. Perfect. I don't believe it should be able to put Inferium in there, so we don't have to worry about, like, a filter or anything. And then, all we gotta worry about now is running power as well. Um... Now, if we got into flux networks, we could have a little point below this, and it would be, we could have a cable, like we could bump this down one more block, I think we'll get ready for it. 
Um, so we bump it down one more block like so. Okay, so that's still gonna work. And then eventually, we'll put power there so we can run a temporary cable down here. It's gonna be very ugly for the time being. I'm terribly sorry. So now the plant sower is able to plant once we get an upgrade in here. As you can see, the working area is only here, so it's not gonna work. And then this guy will eventually be much better off, I guess. <laughs> all right, so we have the machines set up. All they need is the upgrades. Uh, and I believe they just need this upgrade here, the plus four. They probably can get away with the plus three, because I believe it's three in every direction, but we're gonna do four just to be safe. Uh, but we need the disillusion chamber. So this is our next goal. Uh, this is gonna require some more of these, which we, we can make a lot more of the plastic here. Uh, so we're gonna make those, we made 12 of them, cool. Um, so yeah, we're gonna need another pity machine boy here. Uh, and then, oh, we're out of iron again. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing is we have iron processing up over here. And eventually, hopefully next episode, I'd like to get into automating the overworld matter a different way than my buddy Butcher has, just to mix it up for you guys. Uh, but we'll see how that works. Oh, we have everything. Perfect. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Uh, so we're just going to put the dissolution chamber here. We do need to fill it up with latex. Uh, so let's go grab a bucket real quick. Uh, we need to make a bucket. All right, so we'll grab you, put you in here. We'll grab two of these guys, because we do need two upgrades. Okay, so Rangi. Uh, yes, here. So we just need redstone, glass panes, and four of the nuggets. So that's super duper easy. All right, we've already got four nuggets. We just need one more iron ingot. All right, we need some glass panes. What a pain. Can we make glass panes out of these? We can. Clear glass pane. I don't know if that works, though. So we are going to need to smelt up normal glass. Or no, we don't. We can just make it with our normal glass. Perfect. All right. And then some redstone. Boom. Here, 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 and here. You can lock it in. Uh, so if we wanted to automate the process of this, we could just pump some latex in here, pump some redstone glass panes and some iron nuggets, and we could automate the process of making these. Um, so yeah, pretty easy. You can just shift click in now, which is nice because you didn't be able to do that before. Uh, but that little locking feature is a big help to everyone involved. So now that this is good to go, let's go have a look and see what kind of range we're getting, but we do need to sleep. After the sleep is done, let's see the range of this guy. So here we go, show range. Okay, yep, we did go one bigger than we needed, but that is okay, because it is mining, or yeah, it's harvesting, sorry, not mining. And then we can add this guy in, and it should start replanting, should start replanting. It is replanting, look at that, there we go, okay. Um, we don't need to lock it. But yes, look, we have automated the Inferium Essence. Uh, and then this guy is helping it out. We can give like, give him a hopper and a bunch of bone meal and it'll start growing like crazy. So let's go test it out. I want, a, I want OP, I want OP stuff. Let's get rid of this, all of this. Yeah, pretty much don't need any of it. Okay, um, I'm so excited. I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna grab some iron here. We're gonna make this the better iron, or we're gonna make the alloys here, not better iron. Um, then we're gonna need a drawer. This guy here, it's gonna be bone meal. We got a few bones, perfect. Okay, we got them. Do we still have the diamond one set up? We do, perfect, so we can make these guys. We're gonna take half of them. All right, that should be, that should be sufficient. And then we're gonna go grab some more um, bones from our mob farm, because this guy has been running forever. I got 7,000 bones, so cool. All right. And so up here, now we're able to, we're gonna place this guy. Right, and then 
Okay, we managed somehow not to trample the crops. I don't know how I've done that. But we did. It's pretty cool. I'm still wondering how. Unless it doesn't work like that in this game. Which is Minecraft. But it does. I Oh, it might be the Inferium uh, soil that's doing it. That could be what's preventing us from trampling it. Which is pretty cool that that's been added. Or I just was so MLG I didn't realize it. Alright. Frick, I left it in the wrong mode. Items. There we go. Here we go. Alright, so we're pumping into it. Now we can click this guy so it's faster, and then click this guy so it's even faster. <laughs> Holy crap! How are we doing on power? We're doing good on power. Look at that! It can support this! Why are you there? You there! Go away! Oh my gosh. This is crazy, guys. We are going to get so much stuff. We need to hurry up and uh, get a bunch of emerald upgrades on here and a void upgrade for the seeds because that's going to fill up the fastest. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So upgrade. Uh, yes, we want this guy. We need a few of these. I believe that is sufficient, but we're also going to need this guy as well. So we're going to make only one of you, and then the rest are going to be the emerald upgrades, which are the biggest upgrades we can do. Okay. So let's get up here. Let's have a good time. I can't believe how crazy this is going to be, guys. Oh, man. It's, it's too, it's, it's too fast. Okay, so we're going to click here. We're going to drag all of them. There we go. So that has the void. Um, huh, are we losing seeds? I think we might be losing seeds. Oh, no, never mind. We're gaining seeds. It's just not fast enough. We need to look into, like, a, a speed upgrade for the, the plant planter, I guess. Um... So how do we upgrade that? We go into, oh, I believe it's these guys. Um, we could put the, the better upgrades into, oh no, that's industrial foregoing. Yes, here we go. Um, we need the efficiency guy, and then we also need the speed guy. So these are going to be the ones that we want to do. So we're going to work on uh, efficiency first, which is two blaze rods, which is okay. We I believe we have the blaze rods. Um, uh, we, we can make them if we wanted to. We just need, oh, we need the tool rod pattern. Yes, this guy. And then, are we done with the iron in here? Yes, we are. All right, so we just swap this out, and the blaze now goes in, which is great. Great! All right, so we're making that efficiency, and then we just need two gold gears. We have 11, so we can make it perfect. And then... Just the normal panes, panes in the booty, and the redstone, which is right here. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Kill, 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 kill. All right, we're going to get all the blaze powder out of there, which is going to be great. And then we can unlock it. What do we need? Latex. Do we have a... This is a bucket, dear God. Wait, there's more. No. <laughs> if you know what that's from, we can be friends. <laughs> All right, there's our efficiency upgrade. Now we're going to work on the speed upgrade. Okay, so this is just going to require some sugar. All right, some redstone, some pains in the bootay. 
and some gears. Alrighty. So redstone, panes, gears, sugar. There we go. Again, you can lock it. That's such a cool feature. Or you can just start pumping stuff into it. All right, there we go. We have our efficiency and our speed upgrades. Uh, so it should be okay. We need to check the power consumption of it because I don't want it to overwhelm everything else, I guess. So range add-on, efficiency. So now it's using less power. And now it's faster. Okay, so with the working area, it's going to check all of these before it plants again, which I believe is the issue that we're having because uh, it checks all of these and then all of these. Um, so we have the, the ranged add-on four. I think we need to go for three. Uh, that way it's as, as efficient as possible. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're also going to do that. We're going to make two of these, actually. Uh, we've made, we made that mistake. So here we go. And uh, we're almost there. We're losing. Oh, shoot. We're not making anymore. There we go. We have our secondary bucket. All right. So now we can make the, the, the four or the three upgrade, which is bone meal. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So we do that. We grab the glass paint with two redstone. Glass paint, which is, well, we're just going to use those. Okay. So two, two, four. Oh, I forgot to grab four of the redstone. All right, there we go. Two, two, and four. So this is going to start planting much quicker because it doesn't have those extra blocks it needs to try to plant on, uh, which is a good thing for us. I'm going to take this guy out and put this guy in. So the working area, yes, is the area here. Uh, so we should see that it's planting much quicker. Might have checked at a different spot first, which is okay. Hello? Okay, there it is. Oh, yeah. So there we go. As you can see, it's planting much quicker now. Now it's already checking back over here to plant. Um, the problem is now that this guy isn't fast enough. Okay, <laughs> I mean, it's gonna continue to plant, which is great. Um, as you can see, like, it's gonna continue to harvest. This is gonna continue to grow. So yeah, we're not gonna run into an issue where it's bottlenecking, but how are we looking on power? Generating a fairly good amount. We're gonna make a whole, like, bunch of these up at sky limit once we're able to do that. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, starting to use this, but I think the reserve is enough that we don't really need to worry about it too much. So I think that is pretty much been automated. Now the only thing left to do would be to connect it up to our system here so we can start auto crafting with it. Um, but that is a good point there. All right, let's work on getting that connected up to the system here now. Uh, let's see, to make you, yes, three iron, one quartz. All right, so we're just going to do, um, I believe, 32 divided by 3 is 8. Yeah, so we only need 8 quarts. That's crazy to think about. I think it's time to make some more of those, up, those component upgrades, too. Uh, so I do have one, which is good. I can go like this, then like this. Now that's faster. Good. We are one signalum short. Gear short. All right. There's the lead. Oh, I forgot. We were going to make those uh, upgrades. This guy here. Okay. Let's go ahead and try these out. We got eight. So it definitely speeds it up. And we really wanted it for this guy but it's gonna use a lot more power that I don't think we have. So we're gonna take them out of there for now. We do need to find a way to make quite a bit of power, and I believe lava is gonna be our best way to go uh, because there are some magmatic generators, these guys here that we can put this, the upgrades into. Um, kind of like, like this guy here, we can put these components, and they do speed up 
the rate at which they make power. So technically it, it would get faster. We could even put these in, I believe, but we might not be able to. So it, it kind of works. Did I take them out of here? I did. Okay, so there we go. We got 32 more of those. Let's get some cable. Cable. All right, that should be good. Do we have any more? We have six more. Cool. All right, and then we're going to need an external storage. This guy here, we just need one of you. And one of you. Did I not make you? I think I made two of those guys. Okay, no worries. Bam. External storage. Uh, so we're going to have to run it quite a bit of a way over here. So let's make sure it's nighttime. I do have a, a like a mega torch up there, which prevents spawning, but I don't know how it works on the the sea life, because you know you don't mess with the sea life. See you later, stinky. All right, I'm sorry for that. Here we go. We're gonna go down right here, and time to start our underwater journey. Let's hope we survive. Ah, right, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We need some, we need some water. All right, so we got eight of the, the the water bucket. I don't know why drinking water makes you breathe underwater. I wish that were true. But you know, I ain't gonna complain. Like, cause I'm a turtle, I should be able to breathe underwater already. So it's kind of weird that I can't. Game doesn't really acknowledge the fact that I identify as a turtle, so. Okay, so we're gonna go over here now. I really hope one of these guys doesn't like intercept me, and I don't know if we have enough cable to do this. <laughs> I don't actually think we do. We we only need just a little bit more cable, so nothing, nothing that I'm worried about. So we should be able to make it, hopefully. <laughs> oh, you know. You know, you know, you know. All right, so we were able to make 23. I believe this is enough, but uh, it might not be. So we'll have to see. Only one way to find out. I do have some more iron getting processed up, but there's only one way to know for sure. Okay, there we go. That's been connected. We had enough. So cool. Okay, so now we should see the Inferium Essence and Inferium Seeds in our system. Eventually we will be able to make that wireless, which will be a fantastic idea. So let's see here. And there it is, the Inferium Essence. So we should see some Inferium Seeds as well. What's going on? Ready for another lesson? What are you doing? Oh, this isn't where the storage is. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to see the storage because we didn't do it right. There we go. Awkward. So now that goes back. Now let's have a look. See here if we were able to accomplish something... Yes, look at that. We already have over a thousand. Oh my gosh. Look at all that Inferium. That is so cool. Uh, we are running low on resources though. Oh man, we're gonna need to make some higher tier um, patterns for the, the storage parts. So we will probably work on something like that next episode. So we're probably gonna automate the um, overworld matter and you know, finally get the the storage parts uh, upgraded so that we can make like 16Ks and even up to 64Ks. We're going to worry about that next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, today we did a bunch in industrial foregoing and we automated our mystical agriculture seeds. If you guys like the video, please make sure to hit the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been The Super Turtle. I will see you all later. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh,